What's up, guys? This is Codes. Matthew Anthony here. Hey, guys. Anamar here. Hi, my name's Golf. Mac Vaughn here. My name's Winter. Dom Kane. Bjorn Akasson. Julian Gray. Christian Vance. The Secrets. Elas. Protoculture. Alvin Gad. Off the hot. Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy number five. We're five on live. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. Uh, welcome along to another fun-packed and interesting show with me, Chris. And sat beside me is me, Phil Johnston. Uh, Here, before we go any further, okay, I would just like to say um, to all you guys, uh, go and share the video. Just go to copy or whatever it is, share. Copy the link, post it on your Facebook or wherever, and just try and spread the word a wee bit tonight. Yeah. Because we've got some really cool stuff coming up. And uh, we are going to do a bit in uh, the the end section, which will require me to do some singing. Live singing. Right. And it, we're we're doing like a, a sort of proggy track. And we're going to do some vocals in and just show you interesting ways to do stuff with them. But we need a phrase to say, and I'm rubbish at coming up with lyrics. Yeah. So we earlier on, we were rehearsing this, and we came up with, what was it, Rock Your Body? <laughs> so obviously, total and utter... Yeah, so we need something really like cool and like, you know, what do you say? What do you want to hear in a club? Something dark and cool and weird. So put stuff in the comments and we'll use some of the lyrics later on when I do when I embarrass myself in front of many people. So Will and uh, Bri, who are behind us doing all the, the chat and stuff and making sure this is all going out well, if you could post uh, to me the coolest lyrics that they send in. Yeah. And uh, make some stuff up. And so go go and share the share, share the stream with all there, your friends. Tell just at the bottom, it. I'm going to do the thing here. Just about there, there's a share button. You can just yeah. click a link and go and share. Let, let, let's get as and many people on. Subscribe and stuff. Where's the subscribe? So we have this as well. So you guys can subscribe to the channel. You can hit the bell, smash the like button. And also, yeah. I would um, anyone that's watching who's not signed up to our newsletter as well, get signed up to it because there's loads of offers and news and updates and all that kind of stuff comes through there. It may sound like we're lecturing at the start of the, top <laughs> of the show. Sorry, but just, so, I just I, I know when you watch other YouTube videos, they're like really like pushing push, you with, with we're that stuff, and we're really bad at sort we're, of we're selling like, ourselves. So you know, if you wouldn't mind looking at this, it's a bit awkward. Uh, the other thing. Big news this week is the Node beta is open. Is open, yeah. So you can go and uh, sign up to that right now and you can download your copy and have a play about with that. Um, so far, been really good feedback. So Yeah, and not we haven't destroyed anyone's computers yet. No one's blown up now. Yeah, so it's, it's all it's all, so well. all good. We want to stress it's not a synthesizer. It is a... A, a wave table advanced. designer, an advanced wave table designer design. app, but although it is a plugin. So yeah, we will, hopefully this will be coming out very, very soon. So if you want to go uh, to the site, uh, there's an area that maybe Brian will post a link up in the chat. Yeah, and if you're using it and you have any questions, don't be afraid <clears throat> to hit me up on the Sonic Academy Facebook. I'm more than happy to answer questions and do short videos and do tutorials and stuff like that on it. So if, if anyone wants anything explained beyond the videos that we already have, which are available in the beta forum, when you sign up, you should get a link to that. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, you need any more sort of explanation on that, I'll be happy to help. So, uh, welcome along to everybody in the chat. We've got Toby Pierce, we've got Deadly Custer, we've got Paul Smith, the designer, we've got Nathan Digivolt, uh, we've got somebody in Jamaica, that is Bueno uh, Ledley, I'd love to be in Jamaica, uh, Lexi Chervnoff, uh, welcome along, and our former moder moderator, Tech Alight, uh, a big hello and welcome along to everyone there. So... Again, what has been floating your boat this week? Well, should we play the VT we'll play on the, VT. the UA Luna? I thought that was quite interesting. I have a new video out on this. Um, uh, if you haven't heard of Luna, it's UA's new DAW that's going to be coming out shortly, I presume. 
Um, and it sort of harnesses the power of the Apollo interfaces. <coughs> so what? What's the big? The big? What's the big idea? What's the big idea? Um, what? What's that? Why? Why are they going for a doll when there's? Well, I mean, it does sound very like, you know, the sort of Pro Tools HD type system, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Where you knew the hardware is paired with the, the software, and uh, it appeals to me for things like track and vocals. Um, uh, assuming they do some nice vocal comp in type stuff in it because um, mm -hmm. Ableton I really just don't I love producing in Ableton I, it's so quick I, it's brilliant but I hate recording vocals in Ableton because it's just a, an absolute shambles you, you were talking earlier on that you <coughs> export the vocals to something like Cubase yeah, I would I would just export a two track and then record vocals in Cubase but it's a bit of a pain in the ass as well and then comp in Cubase of, and then back comp in Cubase and then back um so you would be using this system to record in because it's got the unison. Yeah, I would do the same. As it'd be it'd be nice to just be able to do it in a in a door that has you know the zero latency stuff, so you can sort of have stuff tracked on the way in and stuff. Although it's because it works pretty. Similar. Are you are you much interested in the official Moog Moog that they've got coming? Um, maybe I'd like to try it. Yeah, I mean, thought the the Moog filter that they did was really good. So hopefully they've nailed that. It's I, I, I can uh, would you use it like uh, Dom Kane? He has actually a course on Mixbus Thirty Two, where he once he finishes a track, he exports all the stems and brings it into Mixbus because he goes, I'm now in mix mode. So it's a psychological thing. Yeah. Would you be interested in using it like that, or could you be potentially? Yeah. You want to you want to record in the way in first, right? Yeah, I mean I do do that on occasion with tracks. It depends, you know, how big a track gets. Um, right. If a track gets really big, I will tend to sort of just stem everything out yeah, yeah, yeah. and mix it somewhere else. Maybe just mix it back into Ableton with the stems or um, send it out to Cubius. Okay, cool. Um, Cubius, I, I don't know. Like, I've, I, I'm very skepti skeptical about the idea that DAWs sound different because I know that they're all basically the same. But when, when you do throw stuff into Cubius as an overall thing, it definitely seems more open to me. In the same way, I remember going from the Mackie eight bus desk to the ghost. Yeah. And the Mackie had a real sort of together punchy sort of sound. No, the the, the analog eight bus. Yeah, yeah the okay. analog. And then when I went to the ghost, everything sounded too separated, and it sounded like you couldn't get that sort of you know crunch behind. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. <coughs> I do. Yeah. I I look. When Logic, I first, Logic definitely has a sound. It definitely has. I think it has a sound. It's a, it, there's a there's a rock. I don't know. There's it's like a middle midi midiness to it. I was lower about, mids or something. And um, Ableton has a sound. There's got there's. It, although I think the sound has improved. Yeah, but I this think, could be all. I mean, it's probably it's maybe a lot to do with things like you know the, the um. Like uh, time stretching algorithms and stuff that add up, and you know things like that. that this is what I this is what I think with with Ableton is so many uh, the audio is so much stretched and mm. and the the warping is done and stuff. So and, and that's the way you meant to use Ableton, and that has an effect in sound. Yeah, Logic's warping is well, their algorithms were historically terrible, yeah. really really bad. Uh, but um, it definitely has a sound. Yeah, and what do you think about Luna? Any interest in you at all? Uh, not. I don't. I've gone really off UAD at the moment. I don't know why. It just feels. Uh, it, it again. It's back. It feels aimed at rock and indie rather than dance. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it's well, probably pop as well. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I think for you know for recording. I mean, it yeah. is aimed at recording. That's it's not, recording. It's, it's not more aimed at. It feels. Do you know what much. it feels like? Uh, do you remember? The system there was a radar system years ago. Yeah. It was the first hard disk recording, and it was a proper sort yeah. of precursor to, to Pro Tools and stuff. And it feels like that. It's where it's a, it's it's meant to put you in the yeah. mindset of of twenty four track tape. Yeah, I mean, I I think up until I started using Slate. Yeah. I mean, there was obviously no comparison with UAD and other other stuff, and like I still love, I still really love the UAD plugins. I think the quality of them is fantastic, but um, it's just slid so much handier now. It's I, my only my the quality isn't in doubt. It's the yeah the amount I can load onto my the those chips is, and having to actually think about that and yeah, yeah. just block and, stuff and, on and, and get the third one in. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we're going to discuss uh, is this cap. I don't know whether you guys are aware or stuff. Uh, there was a bit of a controversy during the week uh, with Behringer, mm. and they kind of had. Uh, they they did a social media post against a journalist. Yeah, Peter Klein. Uh, Peter, uh, who, Klein, Kern? who Kern, sorry, who runs uh, Create Digital 
Music. Yeah, he's a journalist and long-standing journalist. Both Berlin and Mr. Berenger from Berlin. So there's, a, I think there's a bit of a history there between the two. Yeah. And they kind of butt heads and clash. Berenger released this uh, fake video uh, of a synth called Cork Sniffer. Yeah. And it's meant to be Cork Sniffers. He, he, they, they were claiming he was a bit of a snob about their products and about them. Yeah. And they also, uh, cop, you know, they trademarked his his yeah, name. they tried to trademark his name. I mean, I watched. If I don't know if you guys watch this too, but I watched the uh, Sonic State video yesterday. Yeah. They do their live show every day on a Wednesday or every week on a Wednesday. I think they nailed it on the head very well by just saying they didn't want to give it any more airtime. And I think we're in agreement. Um, you know, if you do want to sort of see a good good summing up a summation of all yeah, that, yeah. have a look at their video. And I think we just um, echo what they said, which is, it's just really bad taste. It's really bad taste. It's unfair. And we we didn't like it, but we also don't want to give it any any more our time and stuff. Yeah. But we thought, you know, we'd chat about it. Uh, I'm sure you guys have been uh, across it and stuff. So, yes, we just, look, we wanted to talk about uh Berenger and yeah. you know it's like it's just a bit immature isn't it you know a, a, you know a big company like that who you know is worth bill- millions and millions of quid against you know some some journalist who's just journal. trying to make you know a, a small operation he's trying to make a living you know it's just you know it, it says a lot it does say a lot but you know there you go uh, what so, else, uh, what else? Like, what, 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 was there something else we were chatting about there what was there there seemed to be a third thing but I've utterly forgotten it so uh, it might come to me yes. yeah uh, Beringer uh, coming up later on as I say we're going to uh, kind of as a response to mm. the demo doctors we've got him and we said for four weeks you know great back and track just needs one other element and so Phil yeah I've just been sort of listening to tracks and thinking about other elements and, uh, and maybe not even just other elements but how to uh, manipulate elements that you currently have and build atmosphere a lot of the stuff that I was sort of listening to um, just progression how to, how to progress a track how to keep a riff interest and how to keep a track interesting so we've got a few ideas that will um, hopefully spark some interest or ideas in yourselves to, for tracks um, yeah so we'll head into the door and have a listen to some user tracks yes do some demo doctors uh, demo doctors we got hopefully a few people that submitted the demos are on the chat uh, guys, so let's have a look at the first one. Uh, we have got a track called Infect. Who is this coming from? Um, let's see. Jesse. Jess, Jesse. Jess. Jess, Jesse, if you're in the chat, say hello. Big, Jess is there. I submitted. There we go, Jess. You ready? So today, just before you start, uh, today and the last few days, we're really under the cost trying to get Node ready and do everything for yes. that. So we're, we have not, we haven't we're, not... We're listening for the first time. <laughs> What about the sound? I'm, I'm not sure about the sound of those. It's probably sad. 
crabs. It could be more interesting, lower an octave down. Do you think maybe? they're a bit, bit thin and a bit weedy? A bit... But I think... Yeah, for me, you know, I mean, again, it's sort of sitting in between that 138 trance and sort of progressive trance. It's sort of somewhere... I mean, what's the BPM on it? Like synth, progressive synth wave trance. Yeah, but it's, there's interesting noises yeah. going on. Uh, Musicality is great. Ask uh, Jess, the, Jess or Jesse, whatever it is. Um, ask what he's one twenty-seven. One, it is one twenty-seven. And, and what, uh, what's your sort of intention? What sort of other reference tracks are you sort of listening to? You know, artists. other labels, other artists, yeah. sort of aimed at. Uh, I suppose that does. Def- in his heart, you know, this could be very much the intention. It's sort of light and sort of. It could be like a warm up early, yeah. you know, early track. It could be, uh, you know, the start of the night type thing. Is that is that what the intention is, or who's the artist you're referencing? Uh, so. Uh, so We said he used Island Bluestone Cloud Chaser as a reference. Right. So Island would definitely have a lot more. It drives a lot yeah. more. And I, I can't imagine Island stuff having riffs up in that level with it. Do you think an octave down? I was... Or or a revoicing? You know, you listen to all Island stuff, it's like oh, those big heavy dun, sort of, dun, 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 you know, big dun, dun, dun. Yeah, dun, big heavy dun. pads. And then... So. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I mean, I think the... I mean, that definitely works that, that bit there. I just think those that top riff needs to be either... There needs to be a, a complementary riff that's, like, sitting, doing this almost the same pattern. But like down, I was like, dun, dun, just dun, to fatten dun, it up, yeah, bigger and sort of heavier. Yep, cool. Okay, uh, Jess, Jesse, I don't know whether it's got an E in the end or not. Uh, thank you very much for submitting. Sounded yeah, great. I, I, like I really, that. you know, it's not it's a lot of potential. Away. Potential, yeah, a lot of potential. Uh, a few comments is, is uh, Alice La. Look at those two handsome fellas. You're quite <laughs> correct, Alice La. Hello, Alice. I'll we'll get that stuff for you tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so back over we've got the next track is in from who uh, let's see if we find this one love of my life Justin Souza Justin Souza I don't Justin know. on before I, th- I have a funny feeling we have Justin on before yeah so straight up transfer sounds like again nice vocals at the start see bits of vocals a little bit of vocal at the start it makes it sound pro. It makes it, you yeah. know, it's, it's I, I would have a. Did, was that, that just like just at the very start there? Again, I really liked what um, Jess did with his one where it was like, you know. That sounded like a jazz scat. You know what I mean? Like those chops. Those vocal chops. How do you feel about the sort of the balance there? If that, if that, that kicks in full kick mode, isn't it? It is, yeah. Something sounds a bit late to me there. Yeah, what do you think about, because I know like in house music you do the pre-clap thing. Yeah, yeah. In trance do you do pre-claps? Uh, no, it's more the... Progressive, I think as you go heavier... They're less pl- less, less pre clap and more. <laughs> yeah, just on it's, the on the. It thing. was more the after clap. You got the. Yeah. Yeah, definitely tighten those claps up, and then I think just that the kick is maybe not mixed high enough for me. Do you think? Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. So the sub bass sounds trancy, yeah. But I think it needs that that 
standard standard mid bass. So go and look, go and look up mid bass. Unless you're Agnelli Nelson, because she just always went. Dum, 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 dum. Did I? Yeah. I can't. Except well, holding on to nothing was 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 more of a departure into the faster digga 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 digga. RP trance, as I called it. RP trance. That was my. Yeah, I think more modern trance definitely needs the. Oh, there's happened. Yeah, but it needs to feel more 16th. Like, vocal sounds great. I love the vocal. Is that riff too high for you? Like, too loud? The the sort of the pulse waves? Boom, boom. The yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's too, too loud in the mix. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. I think wait. I would like to you know, hear that bass, like, really you know the, the kick and the bass sort of really taken over more and then that again for this faster transit again when i was sort of reverse engineering the sean tyus stuff i kept like putting the reverb on i was like listening back and i was like oh, he's got more reverb i had to keep like turn up the like you know <laughs> more and, reverb. Then, and this was like uh, when i had the actual reverb as an insert i was like up to 70 percent before it sounded You're nearly ran out of reverb <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? but I, and, and it's it's not intuitive to put that, that much. much reverb on, yeah. but you you know, I really think for lead sounds in trance, you need to just swamp it, cram loads of reverb on, get the reverb side chain, and that's where you start feeling like, like that loads sort of, of sh- energy. Sh- and then you know, you don't you want it sort of mixed back a bit so that you're you know, it's like a it's it's atmosphere, it's just wow, 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 you're getting serious vibes. The other thing I noticed about the um. The Sean Tyus track, and I remember this when I, I, I reversed engineered uh, like a Paul Van Dyke track, is how frequent like um, transitions happen. Happen. So like every eight bars or eight. It was every like eight bars or something, you know. And it was it wasn't it wasn't always a big change or anything, but it's always like a you know, and each section is building to the next section. Yeah, there's yeah. No, yeah. There's, it's not just there's no sections that are just. The loop is just continuing. Yeah, yeah. It's always like either filtering something. up, or there's a you know an acid coming up, or there's always something. So every and it's like you know, any of that part, like, you know, and there's just every section sounds like it's moving. Uh, yep, yep, progressing yep, yep. forward. John Walter on the chat says, "Don't listen to them. That sounds awesome." I'm totally happy for you to disagree. This is only our opinion. Yeah. And it's not necessarily the right one. Do you like that vocal? It just it just all collapsed there for me. It got a bit confused, a bit sort of. Yeah, I mean, what I'd be dropping down to there is just sub bass, soft pad, and that vocal with the big. Yeah, just big... I, I lost all sense of timing. You know, I need it. Something to keep the rhythm going. Something to I'm let you. Know. I can, I'm okay with the rhythm. I, I think it just uh, those pop elements are distracting me from the vocal and I'd, I'd want to hear more low end action sorry I'm in the wrong oh, I love a I love a gated ding ling ding ling BBE seven days in one week classic reference do you know what you need here ding, ding. a reverse orchestra hit <laughs> Yeah, it's banging like that bit. Yeah, it's it's, it's got classic vibes. I think the, yeah. the retro trance thing is I think is coming back. You think so? Oh yeah. <laughs> Can I come back into fashion? Do you think? <laughs> yes, yeah, finally. I, I think like uh, with um, a Jack and stuff, the trance wax thing. You know, he's pushing very much that sort of late nineties. So there could be a bandwagon drive in here that I could jump on. Yeah. Yes, I think you could ah, totally get excellent. back on that. Excellent. Yeah. Um, excellent. So and I think he might be coming on. 
the show soon. Who? Transwax. Transwax might be on this show. Yeah. Live uh, in person, apparently. I, we did post the, during this week about uh, JTEC coming on the show. JTEC is actually in Canada. And he's, he's living in America. Had to move out to go to Canada and then got immigration to go back this morning. So he phoned me up and said, I'm so sorry. Can we push it back to next week? Because I need to get back into America. So, uh, yes, JTEC will be on the show next week. Fingers crossed. And in a couple of weeks, we hope to have Mr. Ejeka, yeah. Mr. Transwax. Uh, Talking about maybe some new exciting news. And who one of us will have to move out for that one. I don't know. We just draw short straws. Yeah. Let's say. Uh, so, guys, yes, uh, J- JTEC next week. I hope you're all uh, getting your remix. Uh, remix maybe we do. next. Maybe next week's show we do from the sofa. We'll have three people and just have a wee chat and all. Three people just <laughs> right beside each other. Just another chair. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, um, yes, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I want to hear the last, the, the last break. You go on then. Go ahead. See, this is better to me. Vocal. Oh, something's happening. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Key clash. Yeah, it sounds a bit. It's lost it a bit there, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. That's not enough reverb on that. that riff. Need a million more reverbs. And there's definitely key clashes there. I I, I really like the the, the musical stuff. I mean, that's very coarse and esky. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, that worked really well for me. I would just uh, check out what your key is on on your music stuff. Mm-hmm. Get auto tune, set it to that key, and just slap it on the vocal. And hopefully, the vocal would just go. And, and, and is, it, is it almost the crowbar plugin I want to invent? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I would just I would, I would always try that. Um, I think it, sometimes it works really well, if, especially if it's just out a, a, a semitone or something. Cool. Um, and then we need to keep moving on because you. We... I'd be okay. I'd be okay. We'll we'll just we'll go through my stuff quickly. Okay. What okay. have we got? We've got okay one uh, recon. So this is a big techno monster. So all sitting really good. 24, you reckon? 125, maybe? Let's have a look. Mix sounds good to me. The hats, maybe. A bit loud, aren't they? No, maybe alright. Yeah, I would just bring the hats down a. I'm from Ross from Friends. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, Love all the incidental sounds. Incidentals sound. all sound good. Uh, I mean, we always say this, but maybe this is a, a, just a style of techno, but I would like to hear a bit more. But then, see, the, the drum code stuff, I don't think is particularly. Just, so, just something. You know, there's even it doesn't need to be like you know a, a funky dancey thing. You know, it, it can be like you know like some of those uh, like stuff we have in the, the techno preset pack for Anna. You know, something that's just even off looping kilter. off kilter. That's yeah. just you, you've taken all my saying off kilter. Off kilter. Off kilter. I always Get talk our kilters about, off. I've always talked about off kilter stuff. I see. Yeah, there's there's a bit of rhythm. I want to hear again. I just want to hear a bit more. Not not loads to say about it because it's, it's you know it's really good. It's oh here we go. Arrangement from up wise, I would have that in way earlier. Yeah. And then you're just oh you know. oh oh oh. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think you get that in way earlier. I mean, the, the sort of techno thing, you're really, you know, 
like a lot of techno just has this the thing at the start you know it's not trying to be clever with build-ups it's, it's all about transitioning clever changes and like you know mo modifying and changing you know and, and, and progressing sounds through sort of effects and things so i would i would personally get that in earlier and then just do more to manipulate it and twist it you know into different sections and i would i think you're there's too long between each each transition yeah so, so bring that that section up yeah i would double the double the amount of transitions they don't need to be bigger big transitions just like you know yep Okay, one. Well, thank you very much for submitting the track. Uh, really good. Uh, not loads to talk about. Uh, and what are there, any feedbacks on the old questionies? Any uh, reminds me of. Oh no, hold on. is this? Oh, I, I'm not. Uh, it's a. Uh, don't want to cross the. These are probably. I don't know whether these are comments or l lyrics for the vocals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Could be a bit of both. I'm all a bit confused. If, if if you're putting lyrics on, denote the lyrics at the start. Let's say. I want to rock you, body. Oh yeah, ooh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think well, that's probably something along the lines of what we'll okay. do. Uh, so next up, we have Owl. I think Owl's in the chat. Get us up, Owl. Say hello. So big epic start. Yeah, digging this. I did a track called Be With You. What? I did a track called Be With You. I know it was Be With Me. Be with me, 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 me. 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 Hi, Al. This sounds great so far. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Uh, Tydris in the chat. Big moment, where's it going? Ah. Yeah. Like how we hit the bubble there or something. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh, this is like. Again, this feels like early trance, blaring. Mm. There's real. I mean, there's. It reminds me of like Grease 2000, he type sort of just big ballist out trance. It's not, it's not, you know, yeah. banging in your face. Love it. I think it's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I guess. I really hope this sort of music comes back into fashion because this is like my favorite type of like. But it, it's got definitely Balearic vibes to it. That's. Um, and I would say the the new Paul Van Dyke track is very much bang in this genre. We, yeah, and, we, and I, I, it's my favourite thing he's done in probably 15, 20 years. Yeah, no, it's we we were chatting about it during the week. He, Phil sent it over to me, and it's it's got it's almost like Foreign Angel. It's got the big riff. Yeah, and it feels Dylan, like it name. feels like there's this sort of movement happening. So, uh, yeah, look, uh, Al, who's on the chat, this is I'm loving it. I'm ready. It too, it gives me the feel. I mean, it's cheesy yeah. to say. It gives me the feel. It, it, gives, it, gives, it makes me want to be in a club. That's great. In. Dude. That's what that's. Yeah, I give it 10 out of 10. I've like, nothing to add other than. I just say nailed it. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. Absolutely. I really well, like that. Well done. Uh, I think that, I mean, I really, really hope that we're, you know, the musicality in trance is coming back because I, I really love that. I want to be, I want to be in Ibiza with the sun coming up, just listening blessed. to that music. Because you know? it's not, it's not so aggressive. It's not too in your face. It's not like, I was watching, uh, it's not blokey. I was watching um, Armin's vlog. He yeah, was yeah. like, uh, you know, the Tomorrowland or where well, he was off in Tomorrowland doing a gig. And, you know, this, the music that was sort of accompanying the, the vlog was, was quite nice. You know what I mean? It was like decent, you know, nice melodic trance. And then he was and then he was DJing. And it was like that. Meh, 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 meh
And it just is like like skitter horns. Yeah, and, no, and I'm just like, oh, what you know? But I, I I remember DJ and, and you would you'd have your sort of set list and you would you would be about three or four records ahead of yourself and you would this record would be sitting about three and you go on. I can't wait to get to this point because yeah. I know this is going to kick off. It's and it, I remember the shivers going down your spine because the, everyone the, the, just the the smoke blasters and every the everyone down. the club just became glorious and there was this sort of uplift and and it, this nails it. This absolutely. Somebody said in the chat, it's maybe tran- time for how to make trance one point oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yes, go back perfect to, one point oh. I think I, I think I, I would dust off the old. Uh, Keon says Gatecrasher reunion. We don't talk about Gatecrasher. <laughs> Uh, do you not like his room? They've just I, they haven't done it well they used to piss us about loads but yeah. uh, they've been really really they, they manhandled uh, somebody a DJ a couple of months ago oh yeah and, and it, just the brand's just gone off off the boil so yeah. guys uh, I'll thank you so much couldn't be any more pro- uh, look everyone's loving it on the on the chat so look well done dude I uh, hope you get that signed so quick one uh, this is Rocket yeah And who's this from? Is I think this is is this a, we? Check out. Yeah, uh, sorry, yeah. Yep. Yep, so we uh, we's on the chat as well. Deadly Custard loves it. Uh nothing else. Uh loads of people just loving this the aisle track, so Salt Tank, yes. Salt Tank, is that an artist? There was a track, Salt Tank, and yeah. yeah. My initial thoughts on this. Kicks a little bit clicky. Yep. It's just poking through a little bit too much. I'm liking the progression though. I think the mix just needs a bit more balance and yeah. stronger kick. Tiny bit less click. Beef up that bass. Well, let's see if it all kicks in here. Oh yeah, we did get a bit more. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, let's see if it progresses. Yeah, definitely sort of sounds to progress that forward. Oh, oh yeah, interesting. Like yeah, reminds me of Dirt Ditrim, yeah. Hillbop. I like the way that came out of nowhere. That was yeah. a real... Yeah, well done. Yeah, I'm into that. That was an interesting transition. I like that. That ride feels a bit slowy down to me. Yeah. Yeah, you'll be building that up with yeah. like faster hats rather than that ride. Do my trance DJ pose, Armin. To the speakers. <laughs> we used to rehearse those trance poses. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, I think I only had one move, which was. Was it? Yeah, it was my. Oh, I'd look. I'd look. I. I was the idiot that stood on the fucking deck. There, there is a video of, of you. Oh, there's loads of videos on me on the internet. <laughs> my kids ever find them, they'll be utterly embarrassed. Nice, nice build. Love the strings. Nice progression. Short progression. Don't know about that coming from high. I would maybe have that coming the other way, like filtering up rather than fil- like high pass. I'm, not, I'm yeah, liking it's this. Really good. I'd maybe have a little bit of atmospheres in there, like very light. Mm. Uh, I've kind of missed. That. Yeah, I want to go back you, to that. You want to go back to that. You want to. You lose. Because you lose all the. You flop the rhythm there. Although I'm, I'm assuming that's going to come in yeah. again. 
See, that's now just dump, dump. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tricky one because, you know, you are sort of holding that back. It sort of builds a bit more tension. It's just whether that's enough to give you that moment out of the break. It was all building. To me, the rhythm, it's because the rhythm changes on the build. It's, it's got dicka 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 and then dong dong yeah. dong dong. Then, I know. Unless, I unless you make more of a deal of this second break, you know, I'm like the... Love that. Yeah, that's so good. Well done. Uh, yeah. Another cracker. I yeah, just maybe I don't know. I would. Yeah, it's probably one of those ones where if you are DJ and I would actually bring two mixes and try one each night and just yeah. see which actually has a bigger impact. I suspect either I I suspect either if you if you wanted to do this one, I think almost down to just a kick on the. Yes, yeah, and you know, make a real, make, a, make it, make a real, like make the build up bigger and then slam it down to dum dum dum. So in the club, it's a, it's a, yeah, a moment. And then you're almost you're you're using this as just a secondary build with just that click or that that, you know, simpleness going into the second bit. Again, loads of people loving this. Uh, Pete yeah, Barrow really, said really he'd buy this. Uh, Deadly custard is whose track is this? It's we we was on the tra chat earlier on. Hope he's still here. Uh, I, Brilliant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Look, guys, uh, thank it's you so half much. Half time. It's half time. Do we run out? time. He's he... doing a pee. Ugh. Right, you go off. I'll fill. <laughs> no, it's just... okay. I'm, I'm just going to get a Coke. Oh, yeah, going to get a Coke. Uh, would you get me one as well? Yes. Yes. Uh, diet? You can have diet or you Please. can have fat. Full fat. No, full thank fat. you. Uh, Guys, the standard of tracks coming in is brilliant. Yeah, those uh, last two were absolutely fantastic. And it's, it's lovely for us to hear them. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, we will run a little ad. Uh Get ourselves refreshed. Get ourselves refreshed because the, uh, the the heat in here is getting uh, it is quite warm. It's getting warmer, it? warmer every week, and you'll load up uh, the next section, which we're going to take a look at. Sort of five ideas, five things that you can do. I'm a bit I'm a bit awkward now because all the tracks were better than what I've got. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. How and we Phil's going to sing live, which is a uh, pressure, pressure, pressure. Just. Making noises. So get your lyrics in. Uh, we there you go. Thank you very much for sharing. So add one or add two. What do you reckon? I think it's add one. I think add one. Okay, we're going to go for add one if it's wrong. Oh, wait, hold on. Well, let's let. Oh, we can't even look. Go. Can you? Okay, we'll just go with add one if it's wrong. I'll cut back. Don't worry. Uh, this is JTech. Please go download the stems, get your remixes in, and we'll have them on. And uh, get questions in as well. Uh, we're going to have them on next week. Uh, hopefully, yeah. live from wherever he is. Uh, I think he's back in Seattle. So, hopefully, uh, this is the JTech ad. Hi there, this is JTech. How would you like to see the start to finish process of how I created my 2019 and Juno Beats track, Tiger Lily? Well, now you can over at Sonic Academy in my brand new series of how to make videos. Over the course of the videos, I'll be recreating this song from start to finish, talking you through every step of the process that went into making this record. If this sounds interesting to you, you can access these videos and hundreds of others like them over at sonicacademy.com. And we're back. I'll Cheers. Ah. Taste of a new generation. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Do you remember the uh, Michael Jackson Pepsi ads? The one where you got... Mm -mm. <laughs> Michael J. Fox, wasn't it? Michael J. Fox did a good good ad. Pepsi? Climbing in a window or something. I don't know. Are you Way sure that was an ad? Right back in the 80s. Pepsi, okay. Pepsi did bigger ads than Coke, and then Coke became bigger. But anyway... Uh, guys, so yes, welcome back. Uh, please get your mixes in for JTech. We're especially looking, uh, and Genobates are looking for female producers. So if you know any female producers, uh, please tell them uh, to join the chat. Get on Sonic Academy. Please share this. We want more and more people to know about this. We love doing it, actually. We, we have a ball yeah. every, every week. Uh, and then we go for pints after you. And I go for zero beer. <laughs> 
because I have to drive. But zero beers are cool. Uh, so let's go over to the Okay, door. so, okay. I'll, I'll, let's try this. Let's try it. Um, so, yeah, we just wanted to cover some possible ideas for um, progressing your track. This stems from uh, the last couple of demo doctors. We were always saying, brilliant backing track, but needs... Yeah. You know, we I think we need one more element, uh, and this was kind of then yeah. we got thinking. So it was a lot of tracks that sort of had really nice drums on a nice sort of uh, arc progression or something. <gasps> oh, don't spoil the vocals. Don't spoil the vocals. Okay, we got the we got the the. Oh, okay, I'll show you the first one then. Um, so yeah, we've got drums. Pretty chilled out drums. Yeah. Nice subby thing. More proggy sort of thing. And then I'll just add this in. This is just our ARP and a two ARP. So this is just the basis I wanted to start with, which is what sort of kind of a lot of the tracks have a lot of those type of elements, bass, uh, ARP. And I just wanted to sort of show a few ideas on how to progress your track. How to get, yeah. So idea number one. Idea number one is some atmospheres. So okay. on this track, I have, I'll just turn all this and stuff off and let you hear what the original sample was. Yeah, it's a, it's a random crowdy sort of noise. And it's really, it doesn't really matter what that is. It could be almost anything really. And we're gonna just. The big one is grain delay. Grain delay just is for this type of stuff for creating weird atmospheres and builds especially, um, is great. Can I? Because I, I I'm struggling. To, I wonder what the logic equivalent of grain delay is. Anybody on the chat? Um, I I wouldn't. I'm trying to think. Uh, is there kind of? You can probably set something up with delays in a pitch shifter. There is. What's the? They did the pitch so, delay or something. They, they did uh, the alchemy. They bought the alchemy. Uh, what do you call those guys? Camel fat. Yeah. So they have. Some... Oh, I camel fat did a delay thing, didn't they? Yeah. Space... So they ha I. Well, they have. They call it step FX and stuff. So there might be something along those Space lines. Space design or something. So what we've got, we've got. Um, you can have your pitch going up or down. We have random pitch. We have our feedback at about fifty and our dry wet, and it's on thirds. And then uh, this just sort of changes the spread between the two channels. So I'll go a hundred fully wet. Mix it into the original, and again, just gives that nice control where you can sort of build up atmospheres and have them moving. And then I'll put a reverb on at the end, and the reverb is just a really smear it all out. And then you've got this sort of thing that you can have in the back of your track. Would there be any way master volume would probably probably loud? Oh yeah, sorry. Any any way to uh, modulate that green delay? Is that? Uh, yeah, well you can you can't uh, can you modulate? No, there's no LFO built in. But you would just use you know you just actually record that in. So you just you could just uh, sign yeah. it to a knob and, and just. And that doesn't have to be loud in the track again. It's just about something that's progressing underneath that um, can make things a bit more interesting. I noticed a lot in that, um, like the that Patrice Brumel stuff. There's like a lot of just incidental atmospheres that are just sort of surrounding the track. Yeah. Um, next was, um, yeah, so just generally using automation on your riffs to yeah. like keep things more interesting. So we'll add that. It. Hopefully, let us know if that starts coming through the the mics. Um, so there's a few things you can do with this. I've just got a big long delay going into a reverb. So you're the delay you're sending then to your reverb. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And basically all you need to do is automate those sort of elements. You know, so you can start off 
Could be random or key points. I think building up the tra transitions and right. stuff. And we used to do a thing. Um, and you can turn up the master again at being told. Oh, yeah? It was fine where it was. All right. So it's just about keeping things interesting and modulating those things as you progress to your track. So fire those in as automation. Um, and just as you're coming up to build-ups, you know, you can... Brilliant. Stuff I like that. I remember, like, on Logic, the tape delay uh, was... Delay, yeah. Uh, the, feed, the magic feedback was 56%, and it would start feeding back on itself, and you get... Yeah. Wow, wow, I mean, I think wow. it's... I mean, the two, the two tracks that came at the end there in Demo Doctor were actually really good in terms of, you know, yeah. elements and building stuff up. Um, and just, I think, it was probably the week before we had a couple of tracks, and, you know, it's just like... Well, even even some of the tracks tonight, you know, you want you want each section to be going somewhere, mm -hmm. like feel as if it's moving forward and and transitioning. So you sort of, it doesn't have to be big, you know. Those could be subtle, subtle things that yeah. are just like you know building up, and it's not, it doesn't have to be audible as such, but it has to build an atmosphere in the background that you're 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 sort of it sounds as if it's heading somewhere. It's almost the stuff you can't hear. You can make it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the details. The, de it's the, de it's the, de the devil is in the details. But if you can't hear it, Chris, <laughs> <laughs> if you can't hear it. What's the? Uh, so yeah. yeah, so look, and, and as Phil said, it's it's literally creeping up a little delay in the background, and it, you may not obviously notice it, but it's like it it gives the hear the listener a sense of something's coming, something's happening. It's always movement. It's always going forward. So yeah, I mean, crank up a, a reverb on a certain note, you know. Yeah, just I think just be, you know, um, I have started just assigning. Uh, so I'll show you how this sort of automation works because I I find this actually confusing. I'm going to just record a, an element of the the track into Ableton. Will I fill? Yeah, people can just listen to the cool track. So guys, get your uh, lyric ideas in. Okay, so we've got a bit of the track in there and I just want to show how you can overdub automation stuff. Um, so this button up here yeah. is your automation overdub. Mm -hmm. And basically all you have to do is then arm whatever track you want the automation to go on. So I think it's that track is the ARP and we can just hit record. That shouldn't overdub the MIDI. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> See, do we, do we, I don't think we even need to arm it, do we? That's the thing. Yeah, you don't even need to arm the track. So that should have all been recorded in there. Yeah, so make sure no tracks are armed. Okay. And then just have the overdub automation and then hit record. And it just means you can, and you could assign then that, you could go into your MIDI, assign your like delay sends to a tracker or to a, a controller, <clears throat> got a wee controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then do all that live. And it just to create more yeah, just movement, movement atmospheres. Yeah. Um, and then got a wee pad. So now we're building more elements. It very much depends what, what sort of track you're doing, whether the pad is a thing you want to do. So this is <clears throat> this is the element we're always talking about. You know, the bigger, you know, what's the what's the memorable moment? You know, what's the, listen to that sort of reverb happening and now this stab coming in and the change there. Wow. Move on over.
And again, Phil, you could you could automate. Maybe a bit too much reverb on that. Yeah, do you get the idea? So just uh, trying to think of other ways to sort of. I might that might only be in the break or mm -hmm. something, or it might drop down to the, you know, just the kick in the bass. Um, and I think as well, don't be uh, don't be scared to sort of, you know, have uh, like quite a, a a big change in your track. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, Which was demonstrated by the last track yeah. there. That bass, the change was real. Mm. It that stuck in my head. Will yeah. stick in my head. I'll go away tonight and I'll go. I remember that track. That yeah, I, I mean, you need to sort of. Yeah, you need to sort of work up to it. You yeah, know, yeah. It wouldn't just be like halfway through your chart and But, you know, as long as you're building up to something, you can you can sort of go in a different direction for a bit and, and come back. Okay, so we're going to try vocals. Are you going to do some singing? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what's our lyrics? Give <clears throat> us some good lyrics. Nobody wanted to give lyrics except for, I don't want to cross the line, I'd rather sniff it. I don't want to cross the line, I'd rather sniff it. Fair <laughs> enough. That's what we've got to do. That's what's... Okay, let's just go back to our... So we just go back to the bass. Doing this without headphones, so I'll just notch the volume down a bit. What was it again? Don't want to cross the line. Don't want to cross the line. Maybe Don't just want to cross the line. There we go. I'm pretty sure I spoke. Don't want to cross the line. You did it again. <laughs> um, do you know what I need to figure out is why they were. This isn't going in time anyway. I don't want to cross the line. Don't want to cross the line. Just want to sniff it. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the end. That could be your end. Just want to sniff it. Okay, let's see. We'll have to. I don't know why the, the timing's out today, but. Oh, we've got some effects. Let's take the effects off first. Don't want to cross the line. It's actually not too bad, time wise. Don't want to cross the line. This is just a, 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 a thing about. Don't be embarrassed to just have a wee go at doing your own vocals because sometimes you can get something just interesting in there that you can play about with. I'm going to put um, Little Alter Boy on here. Just form and shift, pitch shifter. Wait for this to be on the 29 seal or the 59 seal. I think it's like 149 regularly, which is a wee bit expensive, but um, they do do wee seals, so you mm -hmm. should be able to pick it up at some point cheap enough. I don't want to cross the line. You can go quite... Just handy for that type of thing. I don't wanna cross the line. I don't wanna cross the line. Just so sort of makes things more interesting. Get a bit of reverb, a bit of delay. I don't wanna cross the line. I don't wanna cross I'm the just line. Just going to notch out the uh, the I breath. Don't cross the yeah, line. Just get rid of all this. I don't wanna cross the line. I don't want to cross the line. I don't want to cross the line. And then, you know, you could be getting creative with delays on top of that. Let's try, um, quite like Gibbons' new delay. I don't want to cross the line. I don't want to cross the line. And you could do something like um, record that all in or either record the automation in live or just like have a second track that's recording. Yeah, I, I love and that. And just play around with stuff until you get wee things that are look cool and then you can cut them out and add them in. Yeah, I'll and put them back in and just sort of have a, an open track. Yeah, of so I will show you just quickly how like, to do that. So kind of add a little bit, go back to that. Um, so just take a, a new audio track and then we are going to set the input of the audio track to our vocal track and then we'll just hit record arm on that and Is it the delays? Because you're fully wet delays? Oh yes, could be. Good, good call, 
yes. Not here just for the looks. So you're looking for mistakes, not mistakes, just little just stuff. Just, you know, get creative, play about with stuff and uh, just experiment and just you're looking for happy accidents. Happy, totally happy. And that's where, I mean, if you talk to a lot of producers, they go, you know, how did you come up with that riff? It was a happy accident. It was, you know, we were just messing about and had a few beers and turned a few knobs and went, whoa. Yeah, get, just get creative. Just, I mean, you you know, you you sort of have to get quite technical with the the foundation of the track and the backbone, and then that sort of the incidental stuff to just keep sort of almost the druggy stuff in the clubs. You know, that yeah, sort yeah. Of trippy sort of sound. You can just get really creative and just you know, that's it. Yeah. That's so it. The, the top five tips are add atmospheres. Uh, the other tip was the riff loop. You didn't show. Riff loop. I didn't do a riff loop. So what we're what what we're referring just, to just like a melody, really, wasn't it? Yeah, but instead of having it repeat every four bars or eight bars, do six bars or seven bars. Yeah, well, so I think this. So I've got the. So yeah, a lot of the stuff in the um, Anna Two pack transitioned at weird times. The techno pack. Yeah. So why don't you throw everything in? Let's have a listen to the sort of... <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. It's not going to work, no? no? Probably not. Okay. Let's try. Putting you under pressure. So there you go. Yeah, just ideas. It's it's less about how the from that sounds. <laughs> yeah, and more about just get creative. So idea one is add atmospheres. Idea two, uh, play with reverbs and delays on your main riff. Idea four, add stabby stuff. Idea five, don't be scared to record in your own vocals, even on a crappy mic, and start messing about. And, and, and especially live in front of loads of people on a show. Yeah, on a show, uh, and where nobody uh, wants to know. Uh, and idea six then is is get your loop points. So rather than four bars or eight bars or sixteen bars, get it six bars, seven bars, and get something interesting going. You know, get something. Yeah. Three bars. Get creative. Get uh, get original. Get you know out of <clears throat> you know out of the norm. Just something different. So, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Yes, thank you very much. Do people tune in. That's the kind of thing. Uh, tomorrow we have the man like King Unique deliver a very. I mean, it's it's probably one of our most advanced synth courses where he looks at the ARP 2600 uh, the Arturia <coughs> version we're looking at because yep. uh, coming up is Korg have done a version and that other company are doing a version uh, <laughs> the company we, of which we nah. must speak Beringer Beringer Mort Beringer are doing a, a, a version so we thought it would be timely to look at the soft synth so if anybody's thinking about buying that they have it uh, this one even baffled King Unique who is a to- not baffled him, but he said, look, I had to do a lot of research. Yeah. So that's coming tomorrow. We still have the JTEC competition running. We should have him on the show next week. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Uh, so that's it. Uh, yeah, get your demo submissions in for next week. Um, like, share, subscribe, do all the cool stuff to the video. Let people know about um, th- this uh, live stream. Please share, please share, please share, please tell everyone. Yeah. Uh, um, lastly, uh, yeah, so- fix my mix. I think we'll do another fix my mix next week if we can. Um, so if anyone wants to submit something for that, and just let us know in uh, when you're submitting your demos that you're interested in that. And, and if you have any stuff you want us to look at on the show, certainly just let us know. One thing we were going to ask people uh, about time, is this a good time for everybody? 8 o'clock GMT, is it too early, too late? Would you rather yeah. say? 
Yeah, because we were sort of, we can probably do it a couple of times. Probably yeah. can't do it too much later, but we can probably do it a bit earlier. Um, and people are asking about your theme, your Ableton skin. You can get that on Ableton themes. It's the Sonic Academy thing on Dirty Secrets Ableton theme site. So you've got, there's a Sonic Academy version of Ableton on that site? You, yeah. Do you have to buy it? No, it's all free. free. Um, free. Ableton. Is it Ableton it's somebody's posted it here. Abletonthemes.com. Yeah. Okay. It's on there. I think uh, we, we we were quite high up on the all the chart of most popular things. Sheds. So don't forget, uh, Node Beta, if you guys want to go and check I remembered it. what the, the, the last thing was, the talking point that we were going to talk about. Yeah, go on. 50,000 uploads a day to Spotify. A day. A day. A day. What do you think about that? What's... You find it? 50, I, it really, really. I, I, you? I thought it was quite depressing. Yeah, fifty thousand. That's like three hundred and fifty thousand a week. But th that could be old catalog. It could be a lot of those karaoke things, kids mm. songs and stuff. But yeah, yeah. Look, it is a day. So I was going to try and calculate how many is that in a week, but I can't do seven. Three hundred and fifty. Three hundred fifty thousand a week. Isn't it? There's yeah. nearly half a million tracks going up a day, or a week. A week. Jeez. Mental. What do you so. think about that, guys? Um, does do you think it, that applies, or do you think you know the the path to sort of getting your tracks played and heard and stuff is is a different path anyway? You know, you, you're going to the labels and like through that and your own socials and all that kind of stuff. I'd be terrified starting out again today than I was 20, 30 yeah, years ago. Me too. So, the other thing I want to talk about next week is coronavirus and lots of festivals today being cancelled. Yeah, so and ultra music messes off and music messes off. Ultra's been cancelled. Uh, Tomorrow World. Uh, snow's been cancelled this could have a real devastating impact mm. so if everybody's self-isolating watch the show yeah. at 8 p.m gmt <laughs> on a thursday so yeah watch all our courses make loads of music at home that's a perfect time to chill out and do it yeah. so guys thank you very much for watching uh we're gonna play out with jtech ad again and we'll see you all this time next week goodbye Baby. Hi there, this is JTech. How would you like to see the start to finish process of how I created my 2019 Anjuna Beats track, Tiger Lily? Well, now you can over at Sonic Academy in my brand new series of how to make videos. Over the course of the videos, I'll be recreating this song from start to finish, talking you through every step of the process that went into making this record. If this sounds interesting to you, you can access these videos and hundreds of others like them over at sonicacademy.com.